Hello again, everybody. It's me, it's Rob. Rob Bidolf. Here's a picture of me. It's a different one this time. Look, this is a picture of me when I was age 10. And that's with Kevin from my book. Kevin. There you go. Now, I am a children's author and illustrator, but you, there's another way, reason you might have seen me before on the internet, and it's because of something called packed lunch post-its. Now, I'll tell you a bit about them very quickly. My daughter, when she first started at school, when she was four or five years old, she was very nervous about staying for lunch at school. So somebody suggested that I draw a little drawing on a post-it note for her, for her, and we put that post-it note into her packed lunch box. Now, my daughter is, at the time of recording, 11 years old, and she's just about to finish at primary school. And do you know what? I've done a drawing for her every single day. She's been at primary school and put it in her packed lunch. Would you like to see some of them? I keep them all in this shoe box. Whoa, that is a lot of post-it notes. You can see the drawings that I do for her. Look, there's Dumbledore, Scooby-Doo, we've got Minnie Mouse. I mean, there is so many of these things and I always post them up online every single day. Look, where's all coming? That's one from my childhood. Bjorn Borg, I don't know why I did that. I was very hard to think of different things to do. We've got Popeye, Smurfs, Strawberry Shortcake, Simpsons characters. I mean, there's hundreds. I mean, I could just show you these forever. But if you want to go and have a look at them, if you just search for the hashtag Pat Lunch, post it on Twitter or Instagram, you'll be able to see lots of them. And that's quite a thing to do. I can tell you that every day. Right, oh, I've left the post-it note out there. Better not lose that one. We're gonna do an exhibition, I think, one day. Right, let's get my piece of paper because we are here today to do a little drawing, aren't we? Let's make sure my paper is nice and central. There we go. Okay. Now then, we are going to do a drawing today. Let me grab the book that we are drawing from today. This book is called Wide Awake, and it's one of my Dinosaur Juniors books. So that's right, we're going to be drawing another dinosaur. And this book is all about, this is Otto here, and this is Winnie. They are twins. And Winnie here, she cannot get to sleep. <gasps> she is wide awake all night long. So Otto, he has to try and think of clever ways of helping her drift off to sleep. So I thought we would draw a picture of Winnie, a very sleepy Winnie today, if that's all right. Now she is a baby Tyrannosaurus. So, are you ready to start now? You know how to do this by now, this is how it works. I'm gonna do a little bit of the drawing on my piece of paper here. Then you can pause the video and you can do exactly what I do. We're gonna do it a tiny little bit at a time so it's not too difficult at all. I think when you break a drawing down into little tiny bite-sized pieces like this, it makes it much, much easier to end up with a really good drawing. And that's what we're gonna to do today. So, I draw, you draw, I draw, you draw, I draw, you draw. And at the end, you're gonna have a lovely picture. Okay, I promise. So get your pen, get a piece of paper, and let's get started, shall we? Right, so the very first thing that we are going to do is, towards the bottom of our piece of paper, we are going to do a nice, simple U-shape, like that. Very easy start to this. You might recognize this from the one of the earlier drawings we did of Gregosaurus, and I think we've done a Nancy as well. They always start in the same way, my little dinosaur characters, with a few little differences here and there. Okay, the next thing to do is we're gonna put our pen, the top left side of that U-shape. We are gonna come out a little way, turn around, and we're gonna head uphill, like that. Okay, so the U and then a sort of L shape almost, a bit of a curvy L shape. Then from where we finished there, we are gonna come along to about there. We're gonna turn around again and we're gonna head up probably to about there this time. And once we've done that, again, we're gonna turn around. We're gonna head back along the top this time. We're gonna go just past the foot where we started about there. It's very similar to Gregosaurus, this one, isn't it? Then we're gonna curve around again, head back for home. But before we get home, we're gonna stop out there. We are gonna turn around. We're gonna head off uphill quite a long way. Then we're gonna swerve around a bit this time. We're gonna go a bit further than we might have gone before. Then we're gonna change our mind. Come back round, follow the curve, and head all the way back home, like that. Okay? So there's our basic dinosaur shape. Now then, 
we need to add another leg. So we're going to draw another U shape, exactly the same as the first one, in there. So our dinosaur has two legs. Then we're going to give Winnie here an arm. And this arm is going to be exactly the same as the legs. It's just going to be another U shape above this one here, right above it, like that. Okay, let's give her a nice big smiley mouth, shall we? Now her mouth, it starts here, okay? So a little way up the side of her head. And what we do, we just draw a straight line that goes all the way across to about there. And then we're gonna curve up like that. So a nice big smile. Let's give her a little nostril. Do you remember how to draw the nostrils that I showed you how to do before? What you do, do a little circle, about that big, that we color in. And then coming out of that circle, we just do a lovely swirl, like that. It starts off thick near the circle like that and then gradually it gets thinner the further away we go. Okay. Now then, Winnie here, she struggles to go to sleep at night time, which means when she's awake in the daytime and standing up like this, that's when she falls asleep. So we are gonna do her asleep standing up. Can you imagine such a thing? Okay, so we don't need to draw a great big circle here because she's not awake, is she? Her eye is gonna be shut, so this is how we do that. We're just gonna draw a little line, slightly curved, like that, just a little way above her mouth. And to make it look like her eye is shut, we're gonna add her eyelashes, just going down. I'm gonna do five, just towards the end of that line, like that. And look, it looks like her eye is shut. It looks like she's having a lovely dream because she's got a great big smile on her face. Let's give her a little eyebrow, about that far above her eye. Just a nice little curved eyebrow like that. Lovely, really starting to take shape. I'm just gonna change the shape of this line here on my one. That's the thing with drawings, if you spot little things you want to correct as you go, there's no reason why you can't go back and do that. I'll just tidy up a few bits here and there. Now then, even though she is standing up and she is awake, let's say this is the morning. So I think I think it might be fun to give Winnie here some pajamas to wear, okay? So let's see, what should we do? I know. What we're gonna do, we're gonna do a line that goes from this corner here, goes straight across, maybe curls up a little bit there. And that's gonna be the neck of her pajamas. Let's give her a little collar, shall we? So what we do again, from that point, we just drew a line from there. We're gonna draw a little line like that, just going up diagonally. And then that is just gonna join up there, like that. And that's gonna be a little pajama collar. Let's add a little cuff here for her sleeve. And then two here for her little feet. And that's gonna be her pajamas. Now then, Otto and Winnie, they are T-Rexes, they are twins. They're slightly different color, they're sort of reverse colors. Um, Winnie here is blue with little pink, little pink diamond patterns there, and Otto, her twin, is pink with blue diamond patterns. So let's add these little diamonds. So what we do, we're gonna just do a few little triangles going up her back. I think we're just gonna do three like that. Just going up her back. Okay. Now then. What do I always like to, oh, I, I've just thought of something. Let's, let's give her some claws, shall we? Give her a few little, three little claws on each foot. One, two, three, one, two, three. And then we're gonna go four on our hand. One, two, three, four, like that, on our hand. Okay, now, I think, at this point, I think we should maybe do some coloring. So, what do I always say to you? You can do whatever kind of colors you want. I'm gonna color Winnie here in blue with her pink stripes, this part of her head. But you know what, the pajamas, I'm not even sure what I'm gonna do yet, but you certainly can do anything you like. Maybe you want to draw your actual pajama pattern here. Maybe your pajamas have got characters on. Maybe your pajamas has got, maybe your pajamas, pajamas are covered in stars or hearts or they're rainbow stripes, or maybe they're just one color. Maybe, I don't know, Winnie's could be, she could have a Gregosaurus on the front of her pajama. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. I'm gonna think of something as I do it. So what I want you to do is color your dinosaur in any way you want. I want you to give your pajamas, want you to give your pajamas any pattern you want. Just have a bit of fun. And I'm gonna go into super speed mode, so I'm gonna see you back here in about 30 seconds, something like that. 
See you in a minute. Okay, so look, there is my sleeping Winnie. Do you like her pajamas? It's sort of like jungle flowers and leaves and things like that. And there's a couple more bits we need to add to our drawing. Three more bits, in fact. First of all, my favorite thing to do, you all know about this, I'm gonna add a bit of scribble around the feet. I'm gonna use a blue pencil for this this time, and that makes it look like she is casting a shadow, so she is standing on something as she sleeps. Uh, the next thing to do is, now, because she's fast asleep, we're going to do her snoring. So when somebody snores, I don't know really why this happens, but people, cartoonists, comic book creators, they always do lots of Zs coming out of the sleeping person's mouth. Doesn't really sound like a Z, does it? I don't know why it's Zs, but it is Zs. So we are going to do lots of Zs. And look, they're gradually getting bigger. The further away from her she gets. Uh, they get, sorry. There we go, lots of Zs there. Should I colour in my Zs? You can let me colour my Zs in quickly. I'll go into speed mode, hang on, give me a second. There we go, some nice coloured in Zs. Then of course, we only have one more thing to do, don't we? Very important though, we need to sign our drawing. We go, Rob. There we go. And there is my finished Winnie fast asleep in her lovely jungle dinosaur plant pajamas. So I can't wait to see what kind of pajamas you give your sleeping dinosaur character now. What I want you to do, I want you to get somebody to take a photo of your drawing and I want you to tag me in the drawing so I can see it and use the hashtag draw with Rob and that way I will definitely see it. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I am going to see you soon for another draw with Rob. Until then, take care and I'll see you soon.